What's going on guys, Dustin Hansen here back with another video. So today we are going to pull the mock-up engine out of the FD. I am waiting on my buddy McCray to come over. He's gonna give me a hand and then we're gonna start scuffing this thing down and get it ready for paint. So once he gets here, we'll start yanking this thing out and get it ready for the new engine. All right guys, the mock-up engine is out of the car. We got everything we need from her, she did a good job, but it's time to move on to the real engine, which I'll be getting on Saturday. So I'm pumped for that. We are trying to get this thing uh, prepped and ready to rock and ready for its real engine. Um, I must say guys, it is so much easier to remove this engine with the cannon plugs. So literally two just quick snaps and then as soon as you get the two motor mounts out and the transmission bolts it makes it so much easier it literally took us maybe five minutes to get everything undone so that is definitely a big plus and it looks a lot cleaner we are going to start working on prepping the bay i already started taking stuff off the firewall i need to take those cannon plugs coil overs tape these holes shut all that good stuff we're gonna scuff everything down, sand it down, and get it all nice and smooth and ready for paint. We will go ahead and cover all of our wires with some aluminum foil, that way they don't get a bunch of red over spray on them. Same thing, tape our subframe, cover anything up with aluminum foil, all these few lines, even though those are getting replaced, but cover everything up, that way it doesn't get a bunch of overspray on it. And we will get to spraying, so let's start sanding it down, get the bay prepped and ready for paint. Alrighty guys, we got everything removed from the bay. We need to go through and we need to bondo over a couple things. We need to grind this plate down that I welded in and we are gonna weld up a couple more holes and we need to grind some stuff down, but we are just about ready to rock with this thing and start sanding and getting it prepped. I wanna paint it by the end of today, which will be obviously in this video. But uh, for now, we need to go change some clothes, get some junk clothes on. Speaking of this hoodie, uh, shout out to my boy Mario Jaga over at RX7 and RX8 Fanatics Club. This hoodie is by far one of my favorite hoodies right now. It is a dope. It's got all the sponsors in the back. I'm not going to be able to show you guys. Nope, not happening. It's got all the sponsors in the back though. It's a dope hoodie. Um, it's nice and fuzzy. So shout out to Mario. You hooked it up with a hoodie. It's comfy. Did a great job, man. Uh, let's go get changed into some junk clothes so we can start sanding down this bay, get it prepped, and spray it. All right, guys, so this has been going terrible. We, this is just the paint mask spray paint I used. I just kind of missed it over everything over here. And then over here, we've been having some cracking issues with the paint because it is raining and freezing outside. Well, it's new, it is Germany. So anyways, I uh, kind of messed it over the firewall with, oh, yum, sick. Once again, 
hasn't been going good. Um, anyways, I'm dropping the subframe. About to take the wheels off right now. Um, it is downpouring, so I just set the canopy back up. I haven't really been filming just because I'm trying to get this stuff done. Tomorrow we pick up the engine. So I'm about to drop the subframe so it'll be easier to paint. I gotta take those fuel lines out and drop the transmission. So I'll be able to walk in and out and just real quick spray it. But that's where we're at. So let's finish dropping the subframe. All right, guys, so we dropped the subframe and taped everything up down there. Uh, now we are just gonna work on dropping those fuel lines. Uh, I need to replace those anyways. I have dash eight feed, dash six return I need to hook up. But I'm kind of just working on getting the car running and those would be a lot easier to do when I could bring it onto a lift. But for now, this is what we're doing. This is gonna make it a lot easier to sand. I could just sit right there and sand everything down. So that's what we're going to work on, sanding fun stuff. All righty, guys, day three. Ooh, got the heater going, heating up the garage. Got all the wires covered. We got the fuel lines covered with some aluminum foil. Tucked out of the way, transmission, garbage bag. Got everything scuffed down and wax and grease remover. Um, so everything is ready to be sprayed. We're going to mix up our epoxy primer and get to spray in this engine bay so we can get this thing painted by the end of the day. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we got our first coat of epoxy primer down. Didn't come out too bad. We are gonna clean our gun out and then we're gonna do one more coat. Let it sit for a couple hours and then we'll come out and we will do the base coat. Work on that. So now it's pretty much the weight game. We just gotta clean up the gun and wait about 30 minutes to respray. So we will respray another coat and hopefully get to base coat today and clear coat get this thing done so tomorrow we can start work on the engine still drying uh while we're waiting we are going to go ahead and start cleaning the subframe and lower control arms you can see how nasty they are at one point they were i think go ahead and wire wheel them so they were clean at one point but with all this dust we'll go ahead and scrub everything down again subframe definitely needs to be cleaned look at that it is disgusting. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this thing down and get that ready to go back in. I'm trying to not waste time here. I'm trying to knock out everything at once. So while this is waiting, I'm coming over here, working on this. Basically, you get everything done today. That way we can put the subframe back up. Once we Tomorrow, once we let this paint uh, fully cure, we're gonna let it cure for about a day. And then we will go ahead and put the subframe on and Monday, we will pick up the engine, put that thing in, get this thing rolling. Second coat down. It is looking good. There's one spot I had a little drip, which is right, right there. You can see, not too concerned about because the turbo is gonna cover that up. But the proxy primer is laid down. It is ready for a base coat. You just have to wait, give it some time to flash and to dry a little bit. So the base coat will stick to it, but this is where we are. Time to go clean the gun and wait.
Alrighty guys, so we're about to roll out to a barbecue, but I have some bad news. So we basically got a little impatient and I tried painting it and the bottom uh, epoxy primer did not cure all the way. And bam, so you can see on the corners basically it started flashing with the red paint over top of it and it wasn't fully cured. So yeah, look at that. Peeled all that off. Now it's, I mean, it still needs some more time to cure. Still slightly tacky, but tomorrow we're gonna have to go over this and sand it down and redo it because I didn't want to wait five hours for this stuff to cure. So be patient when you paint because I wasn't and look what happened. My nice paint job's ruined. This stuff came out pretty good. Obviously you can see none of it has a clear coat on there, but it came out pretty nice. But everything else didn't. So now I just have to go ahead and re-wet sand all of this down once it's fully cured. Yeah, this is trash. Live and you learn. Be patient, wait the cure times. Don't be like me. So, until next time, we'll see you guys tomorrow.